Will the candidates for graduation please remain standing? President Miller, the candidates are assembled. Will everyone please remain standing and join Sarah Summers in singing the national anthem? Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Would everyone please be seated? Good morning. My name is Gary Miller, and it is my great honor to be president of the University of Akron. It's my privilege to extend a most cordial welcome to all of you who've joined us for the 230th commencement ceremonies of the University of Akron. Welcome, graduates and welcome to the parents, spouses, relatives, and friends who have helped make possible this day of achievement and share in the pride of this celebration. I'd like to ask Executive Vice President and Provost Dr. John Winsick to join me for some introductions. We are joined this morning by representatives of our distinguished faculty. We are fortunate to have such a remarkable group of individuals who are experts in their field, sharing their deep knowledge with our students and challenging them to reach their life goals. At the University of Akron, faculty are not only teachers and mentors, but they remain scholars first and foremost, and their writing and research helps to shape our understanding of this world. Members of the faculty, will you please rise and remain standing. We're honored to have with us members of the Board of Trustees of the University of Akron, and I'd like to ask them to stand and remain standing as I call their names. Chair of the Board, Mr. Joe, Joseph Jingo from Wadsworth. Mr. Brian Williams of Fairlawn, Ms. Trina Carter of Kaiga Falls, Mr. Michael Saxon Copley, Mr. Thomas Waltemeyer of Green, and two student trustees, Ms. Brooke Campbell of Fairlawn, Mr. Luke Smith of Chillicothe. Let's give these trustees a warm welcome. Thank you, folks. We also have with us members of the University of Akron administration and some special guests, and I'd like to call their name, ask them to rise and remain standing to all the names are called. Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Dallas Grundy, Vice President of Development and Executive Director of the University of Akron Foundation, Ms. Kim Cole, 
Vice President and General Counsel, Ms. M. Celeste Cook. Vice President, Chief Communications and Marketing Officer, Ms. Tammy Ewan. Vice President and Chief Human Resources Officer, Ms. Sarah Kelly. Vice President and Chief of Staff, Dr. Paul Levy. Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. John Messina. Vice President for Inclusion and Equity and Chief Diversity Officer, Dr. Sheldon Rice. Vice President for Research, Business Engagement, and Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Suzanne Bausch. Dean of the University Libraries, Dr. Amy DeChambeau. Senior Associate Dean of the Williams Honors College, Dr. Matt Matthew Wasinski. Dean of the Bucknell College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Mitchell McKinney. Dean of the College of Business, Mr. R.J. Niemer, and others who have joined us. Will you please join me in thanking these, uh, great, this great team of leaders at the University of Africa? I will now ask uh, Joseph Jingo, Chair of the University of Akron's Board of Trustees, to extend greetings on behalf of the board. Chair Jingo. Good morning. On behalf of the University of Akron's Board of Trustees, I offer a warm welcome to our guests and especially to the fall 2022 graduating class. Graduates, you are the primary reason why this university exists. And we thank you for entrusting us with your higher education. You had many options from which to choose. And we sincerely hope your Akron experience has proven that you chose wisely. In addition to conveying our gratitude, we want you to know we appreciate and applaud your accomplishments here. Through great effort and perseverance, you have seized opportunities to broaden and sharpen your thinking, expand your worldview, attain professional and personal growth, and become educated citizens. Now, you will have more and greater opportunities to thrive to contribute, and to serve. My fellow trustees and I wish that the journey awaiting you will be filled with good health, good fortune, and continued success, and will, from time to time, lead you back here to your alma mater. We are honored to join with your family, friends, and faculty in celebrating this important milestone. Congratulations. Thank you, Chair Jingo. Graduates, you entered this building as students and you will leave as alumni. Before that transition takes place, it's appropriate to hear from a representative of the class of 2022. Accepting that responsibility this morning, is Goldilyn Pagaspis. Before I call Goldie forward, allow me to tell you a little bit about this exceptional student. Goldie graduates today from the College of Business with a Bachelor's of Business Administration in Business Data Analytics with a 3.98 grade point average. She's had an excellent academic career, including six semesters on the President's list since the fall of 2019. At the same time Goldie was excelling in her studies, she was also working in the Office of Equity, Inclusion, and Diversity four days a week. She has served as a volunteer for UA events, including Rethinking Race series and Black, Brown, and Beyond Male Summit. She's also a peer mentor in the Office of Multicultural Development. Goldie has volunteered at the Humane Society of Richland County, the Inc. Carceration Festival, and Akron's Juneteenth Festival. Goldie does all of this in addition to a 150-mile round-trip drive from Ontario, Ohio to the UA campus four days a week. She will share more about that remarkable journey in a second. After graduation, Goldie plans to find a full-time position, travel in the U.S. and abroad, 
and search for a career that will allow her to utilize the degree and skills she acquired at UA. Goldie is the daughter of Michelle Yaboot of Mansfield. Goldie, we're honored to, have, to invite you forward and to hear your address to the 2020 graduating class. Good morning, everyone. As a member of the class of 2022, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today as we celebrate our monumental achievement. I would also like to take a moment to reflect on a few things that led us here today. For one, I'd like to acknowledge that many challenges, the many challenges that our class has had to overcome and conquer to get to this point. We've proved our unwavering determination to continue our education despite the ongoing pandemic. Our class has endured virtual learning, social distancing, and an unorthodox college experience. Through it all, we did not give up and instead adapted into the new normal so that we could be celebrated here today. I'm aware that each of us has had a different journey to be here today, so I'd like to address the unique paths and obstacles each graduate had to overcome. I'm speaking for myself, but I'm sure many of my fellow graduates can agree with me when I say college is not easy. It's a constant dynamic of highs and lows, the easy and the hard, and the good and the bad. In addition to being a college student, many of us juggle different roles, such as being a mother, father, daughter, son, sister, brother, worker, friend, and probably many others. With that said, I'm sure once again that my fellow graduates can agree with me when I say that the whole experience has been entirely worth it. The good times gave us hope and light for the future. The bad times, whatever that might have consisted of, taught us valuable lessons that made us stronger and helped us grow into the people we are today. One thing I know for certain is that during this entire journey, we were never alone. I know in my experience, I've had a lot of support along the way. I want to take a moment to share some of my story and explain how support from UA and others has had a huge impact on my life. My family immigrated from the Philippines to the US in 20, 2007. My mom made this huge life-changing decision because she believed in the American dream and wanted her children to chase after it. Once in the States, my family and I had our share of struggles. At one point, we only had $7 on which to survive. For many years, we moved from house to house, school to school, and even state to state, so it goes without saying that my home life was very unstable. During this time, my dedication to my education never wavered. And I'd like to think that it even strengthened because school was the only stable thing in my life for a long time. As I grew older, I became more aware, aware of the endless opportunities I could receive if I worked hard in school. So that's what I did. I always gave my best effort and strived for the best grades in hopes of getting into college one day. Finally, the time came to start applying to college. At the same time, my green card expired because I was over the age of 18, so I decided to apply for citizenship and did not renew the green card. I thought my high school grades and extracurriculars would be more than enough for admission to college, but without a green card and with no US citizenship, I was not admitted to the schools to which I applied. As I was losing hope, I discovered the University of Akron and it discovered me. Looking back, I have no doubt that UA was the be best place for me. From my first interaction with the people at UA, I knew that they truly cared about me, not just as a student, but as a person. I told them about my situation, and instead of rejecting me, they worked hard to find a path for me to be accepted. During my first semester at UA, things finally started to look up for me and my future. In October 2019, I was granted US citizenship. Not long after, I started to pursue other personal goals that were impossible prior to citizenship. I now have a driver's license and my own car, I opened a bank account, I'm a registered voter, and I'm currently renting my first house. To be completely honest, there were times where I did not see the light at the end of the tunnel. As much as I have achieved in this time, I've had just as many personal struggles and obstacles. I have struggled with my mental health. There were times where I questioned whether I could finish college or not. I've given up on so much and made many trade-offs to be standing here today. However, I cannot take all the credit. At my lowest and darkest points in life, there were people that guided and aided me to keep moving forward. I'd like to especially acknowledge Dr. Sh Sheldon Rice, Dr. John Messina and Ms. Autumn Frampton from the University of Akron for the tremendous support they have given me throughout the years. They had a huge role in reminding me that I not only belong in college, but I deserve to finish. In addition to friends and family that also let me support throughout my time here, 
One person I want to give the highest praise to is my mom. Without her, I am confident that none of this would have been possible. Despite our struggles, my mom never stopped working to provide me the opportunity to chase after my dreams. She worked long hours to pay for my citizenship and my first semester of college tuition and expenses. She's always made sure that we had a roof over our heads and food on the table. As a single immigrant mother of three, I am still amazed with everything she does and continues to do. I hope she knows that she is my biggest role model and that I will never be able to thank her enough for everything she's done for me. Lastly, I'd like to thank Zip Assist, the Counseling Center, my professors, and other faculty members for their support throughout the years. Through everything, I can stand here today and tell you that I am the luckiest person because I am now living the American dream. I'm really proud of where I am and the person that I have become. I'm thankful for every experience that I've had in my life and at UA. I'm thankful for the opportunities for growth, experiences, connections, and relationships that the university has provided me. I am very thankful for the tr tremendous support along the way. If there is one thing I say today that I hope you will remember, it is that the only limits on us are the ones we set for ourselves. Know and go after what you want in life with full effort and never let obstacles discourage you. It does not matter where you come from or start in life. I am living proof that we are capable of so much. To my fellow graduates, whatever your next endeavors may be, know that you are the architect of your own future. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it. Go Zips. Thank you, Goldie, for sharing that remarkable story. So congratulations, graduates. One of the uh, great opportunities of being president of the university is that I get to give you some last words of advice before you leave, which is what I'm going to do right now. So here are 10 pieces of sagacious advice that I want to leave you with this morning. Number one. The single most important characteristic of successfully highly educated people like you is that they don't believe they've finished their education. Keep learning. It's the only way you'll succeed. Number two, the very best way to interject yourself into a conversation is to ask a question. Everybody likes to talk with people who are curious. Number three, unfortunately, you're going to find that there are people in this world who dismiss you, ignore you, take advantage of you, show outright disdain for you. If you want to develop your skills at dealing with such people, get a house cat. You'll have the opportunity daily to deal with rejection. Now, some of, number four, some of you will become billionaires. When you do, please do not build rocket ships. We got enough of those guys already. Instead, buy yourself a new car and give the rest of the money to the University of Akron. <laughs> hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> number five, despite what you have heard, there is such a thing as truth. As an educated person, you're obligated to seek it. As an educated person, you're obligated to speak it. Number six, if you want to persuade someone of something, the first thing you have to do is listen to them carefully. Understanding another person's perspective, even if you disagree with it, is the only way to get that person to understand yours. Number seven, embrace the arts. In the, wor in the words of the American poet Thomas Merton, art enables you to find yourself and lose yourself at the same time. Number eight, most of the earth is water. Learn how to swim. Number nine, civilized societies embrace a common good. This good comes from mutual respect, taking care of one another, and lending a hand to those in need. Nurture this precious commonwealth through a life of service. And number 10, remember that love is not a thing. Love is the only thing. Find love, give love, and that way you'll be happy. Congratulations to all of you, and remember, you are always a zip.
I want to invite Executive Vice President and Provost Dr. John Winsick to come forward to supervise the awarding of degrees. Dr. Winsick. Good morning to everyone. We will now begin to confer our graduates those degrees for which they have sacrificed and labored so intently over the past several years. The class of 2022 at the University of Akron consists of 766 candidates from 20 states and 23 countries, ranging in ages from 19 to 70, and includes 31 candidates for the doctorate degree, 43 for the Juris Doctor degrees, 107 for master's degrees, 527 for bachelor's degrees, and 58 for associate's degrees. Today, we are gathered in formal convocation with those candidates from the Bookdale College of Arts and Sciences and Dean Mitchell McKinney, as well as the College of Business and Dean R.J. Niemer, and the Graduate School and Dean of the Graduate School, Sue Bosch. As we recognize and confer degrees upon these candidates, we will proceed by acknowledging those that have earned the doctoral degrees, then the master's degrees, and then finally the undergraduate degrees. As each candidate has their name called, we do ask that our guests please be respectful of the occasion so that each candidate may be duly recognized for their accomplishments. I would, like, I would now like to invite Dr. Sue Bosch, Dean of the Graduate School, to the podium to provide comments to our graduates. Good morning. Commencement is an exciting day in the academic year. Students, beaming with pride after completing all the hard work required for their degrees. Although we celebrate commencement at the end of this academic journey, commencement literally means beginning. Today's new beginning and the new avenues opened through attainment of your degrees are what makes this day particularly exciting. Embrace the new beginnings this day brings without the pressure to plan too far down the road. Remain flexible, continue to learn, and evolve. Careers often don't take a straight path, and goals change as you and the world change around you. Embrace the twists and turns and enjoy the ride. And lastly, don't forget to celebrate all of your accomplishments along the way, starting with today's. Congratulations and enjoy your big day. Thank you, Dean Bosch. Will the candidates for the doctoral degrees please rise? These candidates before you have attained to the highest degrees bestowed by any institution of higher learning. It is the cumulative achievements of years of rigorous academic work, significant cutting-edge research, and supreme dedication to their chosen discipline. Candidates, we are proud of the work you have done here at the University of Akron. We congratulate you on this tremendous achievement and trust that you will continue your participation in the discovery and creation of knowledge, the ongoing practice of which, you earn, which has earned you this degree. President Miller, these candidates have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the graduate school. With the approval of the dean and the graduate faculty, they are now presented to you to receive the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Thank you, Provost Winsick and Dean Bausch. Congratulations, candidates, on this remarkable achievement. Exercising the authority of the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all the highest requirements of the university the Doctor of Philosophy degree, with all the rights, privileges, and duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Doctors of Philosophy, as evidence of your achievements, you will you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma and your hood. Please come forward as directed by the marshals.
Ángela Alicea Serrano. Kathleen Dan. <laughs> Tebow what? Alicia Marlowe. <laughs> Megan Kimbrell. Darcy McBride. <laughs> Syed Rafi Kudin. Leanne Schaefer. Gabor Smith. Colleen Unsworth. Will the candidates for the master's degrees please rise? The master's represents a significant accomplishment, both academically and professionally. These candidates are now equipped to be leaders in their respective fields, impacting their profession and the personal spheres of influence with their knowledge, passion, and commitment to excellence. President Miller, these candidates have successfully fulfilled the requirements of a master's degree program. With the approval of the dean and the, graduating faculty, and the graduate faculty, they are now presented to you to receive their master's degree. Thank you, Provost Winsick and Dean Bausch. Congratulations to all of you. Exercising the authority of the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all the requirements the master's degree. 
with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Now, graduates, as evidence of your achievements, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma. Please follow the directions of the marshals. Amber Lewis. <laughs> Ning Tong. <laughs> ya Hansha. Corey Smeagol. Vincent Lebowski. Kayla Fisher. Jeremy Lewis. Benkata Rama Sai Nithin Panjurla. Trajan Rairdon. <laughs> Shannon McKnight. Stacy Boyd. <laughs> Tiffany Moffat. <laughs> Jonah Green. Fernando Segovia. Luke Operhall. Sai Pratusha Pagadala. Joseph Ritz. Michelle Jensen. Gayatri Dondetti. Jenna Fight. Michelle Bisson. Wasim Mohammed.
Terry Sampson. Ali Stem. Ursula Stax. Claudia Caberline. Eric Simone. Sophia Simone. Vivian Campbell. Samuel George. Nikolai Atroda. Kairov Shah. Forum Modi. Kalyani Gupta. Robert Bryan. Michael Dern. Kirsten McMahon. Lauren Folk. Jonathan Quinones. Caitlin Miller. Desiree Easterwood. I will now invite the college deans forward to provide remarks before the conferral of the undergraduate degrees. Dean Niemer, would you please step to the podium and address your candidates? Good morning. It is really an honor to stand before you today and offer words of congratulations to this graduating class. It is really an immense privilege to serve as the Dean of the University of Akron College of Business, my alma mater. To those graduating this morning, particularly those with a business degree, I want to encourage you to hold fast to three words, light, gratitude, and home. In the College of Business, there hangs a piece of commissioned art titled Fiat Lux, a Latin phrase meaning let there be light and a nod to the seal of our great university. Light seems to be a simple concept, but I urge you all to consider something deeper. I believe the most interesting aspect about the word light is how vast the individual interpretations of this word truly are. Light means something a little bit different for each of us. For most, it means a source of illumination, or an act of illuminating. Light by itself, without the addition of any prefixes or suffixes, can be a noun, a verb, or an adjective. Light stimulates sight, it ignites, it brightens. As you, our graduates, leave the College of Business and enter into the next phase of your lives, I encourage you to figure out how you will individually exemplify and bring the concept of light to others. Next, I ask that you exercise gratitude with your own source of light. 
I encourage you all to accentuate the good aspects of your lives and focus on positivity, especially as this ceremony celebrates your commencing into the next landscape of learning. As you trade your textbooks for a whole new book of business, recognizing those to whom you owe gratitude will be an important key to unlocking human connections. Show appreciation to others. I personally want to thank all of today's graduates who welcomed me into the College of Business during this past year of your education. For me, becoming the College of Business Dean has in many ways been a homecoming. I've realized over this past year, perhaps more than ever, the importance of the concept of home. For our graduates, it is my hope that this commencement is not a goodbye. Instead, my wish is that you will all refresh your definition of home and realize that despite geography or time that may separate you from the physical space you've occupied while earning your academic degree, this College of Business will always be your home. In short, I hope that we at the College of Business have been a source of light for you. I hope we have shown our gratitude for your individual contributions to us. I hope that we have instilled the concept of home to you. I trust the doors we have opened and the pathways we have highlighted for you to experience business will continue long after this ceremony. On behalf of the University of Akron College of Business and all my fantastic colleagues, we offer you our heartfelt congratulations. Enjoy this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Niemer, and congratulations to the College of Business graduates. Dean McKinney, would you please step to the podium and address your candidates? Good morning, graduates. I am so honored to serve as Dean of the Bukhto College of Arts and Sciences. On behalf of our faculty and staff who've guided and supported you along your journey, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to congratulate you on this significant accomplishment. Bukhto College graduates, your achievement this morning continues a 150-year legacy of this great university. In fact, you're taking part in the 230th commencement ceremonies. The very first commencement was held in 1873, where the Bachelor of Science degree was conferred upon four students, the very first graduates of Bukhto College. Now, it's your turn. In just a bit, you will begin a new chapter in your life as you turn those tassels from right to left and become the latest graduates of Bukhto College and proudly joining our college's nearly 90,000 living alums around the world. So you've done it. Your hard work, the many, many hours of studying, all those exams, the papers and projects have all paid off. And you should be very proud of this achievement. But keep in mind, as you've already heard this morning, your graduation is not an ending, but rather just a beginning of an exciting journey. A journey that I hope will be filled with great success and many more achievements, just like today. But as you embark upon your career and life's work, you will most assuredly face some difficult challenges and setbacks. I'm confident, however, with the education you've received, you will be successful. I often say that the magic of a liberal arts and sciences education, that broad-based interdisciplinary education that's global in scope, you do remember all of those gen ed courses, don't you? Is to prepare you to navigate uncertainty and imagine the unknown. That's right, our task has not been to prepare you for careers or jobs that may not even exist in five or 10 years, but to prepare you for careers and challenges that are currently unknown. Now in imagining these challenges, in facing the unknown, you will find yourself who you truly are and what you're capable of doing as you shape the future. 
And I know you will be capable of making this a better world for us all. You embody our Bookdale College motto, we change lives that change the world. So Bookdale College graduates, let me leave you with a few words that were spoken at that very first commencement by our college's namesake and founder, John Bookdale, who said to those four graduates, Bookdale College shall stand through the ages, giving light to the world. Well, here we are 150 years later, and Bookdale College graduates, you are that light that we are so proudly giving to the world. Congratulations. Stay in touch and go Zips. Thank you, Dean McKinney, and congratulations, Bookdale College of Arts and Sciences graduates. Before we proceed to the conferral of undergraduate degrees, it is appropriate that we give special recognition to those candidates who have demonstrated outstanding scholastic achievement or exemplary service while earning their bachelor's or associate's degree. On page nine of your program, you'll find an explanation of the criteria of awarding these special designations. Recipients of academic honors are also noted individually in your program. I ask that our audience to take notice of the honors course, the stoles, and the medallions that are worn by these graduates as symbols of their exemplary accomplishments. At this time, I ask candidates with special designations and academic honors to please rise and remain standing as your honor is called. Those graduating with summa cum laude, please rise. Those graduating magna cum laude, please rise. Those graduating cum laude, please rise. Those graduate the uh, Williams Honors College Scholars, please rise. Will those students have been inducted into the Collegiate Honor Societies, please rise. And finally, will those that have served our nation, both veterans and current members of the armed services, please rise. Please join me in congratulating these folks. Please be seated. Will Dean McKinney of the Bookdale College of Arts and Sciences and Dean Niemer of the College of Business please rise? Will the candidates for undergraduate degrees, including bachelor's and associate's degrees, please rise? President Miller, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of one of the undergraduate degrees in their college. With the approval of the dean and faculty, these students are now presented to you to receive their undergraduate degree. Thank you, Provost Winsick, Dean McKinney, and Dean Niemer. Congratulations to all of you. Exercising the authority of the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all the requirements the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Now, candidates, as evidence of your achievements, will you, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma. Please follow the directions of the marshals. Darius Burley. Angela Province. Adam Helmling.
Gadi Sabah. Patrick Cook. Ian Badger. Evan Jensen. Jason Iswarski. Sydney Astorino, start your best. Michael Smith. David Hanno. Jordan Radcliffe. Elizabeth Davis. Peyton Mazander. Austin Patterson. Alec Oxley. Michael Molesky. John DiPronio. Cassie Boland. Emily Zuba. Lena Sawalha. Keyshawn Gaddison. Daryl Daniels. Goldie Lynn Pagaspas. Sarah Summers. Manuel Smart. Anthony Williams, Jr. Ryan McLean. Megan Porter. Sarah Sadani. Yasmin Brandon. Onika Stallworth. Devora Young. Kendra Ivory. Catherine Lee. Megan Schmidt. Cassidy Harkness. Julianne First. Brian Smith. Andrew Gore.
Anthony Gorsica. Armesh Qureshi. Bershad Gimire. Chandra Gajmer. Abigail Bash. Amy Quitter. Alyssa Lawrence. Megan Sheets. Nathan Martin. Andrew Nash. Sophia Marshall. Peter Grandin. Andrew Flowers. Zoe Williams. Gregory Guarneri. Judy Horn. Vincent Nguyen. Hannah Hain. Oceana Bond. Marina Facioni. Autumn Alry. Ian Keneally. Sarah Ritchie. Aaron Lacey. Mikkel Reininger. Janetta Knox. Emma Lassiter. Julia Jones. Marissa Myers. Chelsea Eichelberger. Rena Lovering. Brianna Baxter. Elizabeth Hahn. Luca Peitsch. Jalen White. Jared Pasterchek. Caleb Kelly.
Jared Husum. William Weiser. Catherine Walker. Chloe Messner. Julia Pulaski. Hunter Sally. Austin Gambasini. Matthew Schaefer. Melissa Chris. Dana Penman. Emily Magazine. Cody Tangeman. Joshua Ludwig. Delaney Jones. Ashley Nicely. Lucas Chadru. Bryce Hasman. Emily Starkey. Lucas O'Brien. Olivia Kovo. Mackenzie Barker. Snay Patel. Laura Caldwell. Madeline Carver. Danielle Culver. Jared Stanley. Joseph Morris. Lauren Latka. Caitlin Shoemaker. Marusha Tareen. Cassandra Garcia. Christina Dowdell. Hunter Terry. Cordelia Surrett. Kyle Stockwell. Leah Zook. Kayla Benner. Shelby Allen. Anauka Nelson.
Sarah Johnson. Viviana Gonzalez. Spencer Steele. Deanna Green. Lakota Kago. Liam Swift Stewart. Julia Lunsford. Ryan Stimson. Erica Phillips. Gregory White. Kathy Murphy. Elizabeth Myworm. Scott Formhalls. Lauren Eckersley. Joshua Seip. Elizabeth Obermeyer. Jonas Piscotch. Amanda Hughes. Sally Schaefer. Madeline Heimlich. Victoria Barco. Anne Hammond. Morgan Marquez. Jillian Fannin. Madison Hines. Hannah Ray. Riley Thomas. Maxwell Hanrick. Zachary Lane. William Legacy. Brianna Chafin. Olivia Fugate. Courtney Kemp. Vijane Burks. Sydney Stroll. David Fahey. Amber Shavers. Haley McCourt. Hannah Feda.
John McDermott. Elissa Lindsay. Morgan Miser. Caitlin Contino. Sierra Walker. Hannah Kurilko. Tony Ann Buddenberg. Alexis Sneed. Derek Thomas. Haley Arison. Sydney Dyke. Nathan Tompkins. Kaylee Hoskinen. Shayna Schwartz. Kristen Johnson. Emma Brookshire. Dominic Bonai. Austin Haddon. Matthew Lester. Laura Dietrich. Tracy Newsom. Sarah Shively. Katarina Zuder. Macy Kowalski. Amaya Smoot. Victoria Tomachek. Hannah Hine. Antonio Spencer. Jacob Stump. Lydia Tucky. Ryan Everett. Jeffrey Hilliard. Susami Seth. Brian Alaventi. Simon Graham. Armando Consolacion. Jaden Conyer. Joseph Popov. Allison Gortner.
George Hurst. Nebiu Tedla. Jared Weingart. Angelina Dorbish. Emma Miller. Kaylin Naus. Julia Reeser. Ashley Johnson. Sakaya Matthews. Stacy Hurd. Cedric Talbert. Claudia Napier. Sophia Fisher. Imani Malone. Mariah Fleming. Gloria Pearsall. Taylor Golston. Aisha Diao. Darnell Pearson. Bria Neal. Adriana Ashford. Jessica Galati. Ruth Webb. David Morisak. Ama Shows. Jennifer Adams. Michael Miller. Logan Mueller. Nathan Mizell. Fallon Hamilton. Riley Fury. Brett High. Dante Grassi. Wayne Wilkins. Jessica Palmer. Savannah Johns. Renato Kauslerich. Abigail Stopka.
Nathan Miller. Kennedy DeLong. Latia Collins. Hannah Thompson. Jordan Maul. Angela Klebs. Madison LaCourse. The class, class of class of 2002, please stand. Now is the moment. Now is the moment that you and those that have supported you have worked so hard to realize. Please designate your status as graduates of the University of Akron by moving your tassels from the right side of your to the left side of your motorboard. <laughs> graduates, yeah. if you will. Um, remain standing. Graduates, graduates, no one makes this journey to this day alone. You've been supported in many ways by parents, spouses, friends, and other loved ones. In many cases, they've worked and sacrificed much to help you achieve this dream. So it's appropriate that you now acknowledge all the family members and friends that are here with you today. Please turn to them and express your appreciation. Yeah. And will you please be seated? Graduates, you are you're now alumni of the University of Akron. And I ask Mr. William Coleman, classes of 2008, 2010, and Assistant Vice President of Alumni Relations and Executive Director of the Alumni Association to welcome you into the University of Akron Alumni Association. Will you? Thank you, President Miller, and congratulations, class of 2022. Your time as a student has come to an end. And you will soon walk out these doors, a proud graduate of the University of Akron. Before you do, know that you are joining a community of more than 180,000 talented, dynamic, and accomplished alumni spanning the world. Akron alumni have played an important role in the success of this institution since its first graduate crossed the stage more than 150 years ago. As Executive Director of UA's Alumni Association, I encourage you to continue this tradition to remain engaged and stay connected. From recruiting new ZIPs to mentoring current ones, by creating your own UA legacy and leaving a lasting impact on future generations of ZIPs, or by joining us for our many alumni events around the country or for this October at homecoming as, your first, as, as an alum at your first homecoming. Lastly, seek the memories in this place and the people and the ideas it introduced you to. And wherever your path after today takes you, remember that you are forever a zip. 
On behalf of all University of Akron alumni here and abroad, I am pleased and very honored to officially welcome you as members of the University of Akron Alumni Association. Best wishes in all you do, fellow alumni, and go Zips! Now, I would like to uh, take just a brief moment to acknowledge the many individuals who work to make this ceremony possible, beginning with our vocalist, Sarah Summers. Thank you, Sarah. And Dr. Christopher Blaha and the uh, University of Akron Brass Choir back there. Our Grand Marshal for this ceremony is Damaya McCurgy. He's right over here. We're <laughs> right here. <laughs> and our interpreters down here, Gregory Lawson and Bethany Sabota. Thank you for your work. There are many other members of the University of Akron community who helped us today, and I want to thank them. We will conclude our commencement ceremony in just a second by singing the University of Akron's alma mater, followed by a formal recessional. Graduates, please follow the directions of your marshals as you recess. Guests and graduates, in order to prevent crowding, uh, we encourage you to meet your graduate in the main lobby or an open area on the second floor or if the weather's good, outside. Now will the stage party please rise? Will the graduates please rise? On behalf of the trustees, faculty, and the University of Akron community everywhere, I wish you joy, much success, and many happy returns to your alma mater. Thank you all for attending the 230th commencement exercises of the University of Akron. I now invite everyone to rise and join with Sarah Summers in singing the alma mater. The words are provided on page 30 of your program. As the song concludes, please remain standing for the recessional. 